Well, hey, what's going on, guys? Today we're here on macOS High Sierra on my 2011 MacBook Pro. And I want to quickly talk about today what it's like to use High Sierra in 2024. Is it still a good idea to use this software? I mean, it's now been unsupported for what, about four years at this point? I believe the last uh, security update came in 2020, towards the end of the year. I think it was like November or something like that. But uh, from time to time, I still use this computer for random things, you know, like if I want to do something stupid in VirtualBox or I want to install something, like try to install uh, macOS Monterey like I was doing here or go back to Lion, you know, just random kind of fun things to try out. Uh, on this computer. I still use it for that today. But as far as somebody who is like using this as their main computer, uh, main software here, is it a good idea here in 2024? So macOS is obviously known for its security and privacy. Um, you know, there's a lot of good security features in macOS, and a lot of those are still present in, um, you know, High Sierra. Uh, so security and privacy settings, you still have all that good stuff uh, to access uh, with firewall, file vault, different things. Um, you also have the different permissions. Um, you know, if you're going to download something from the internet, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to do this and all that good stuff. Uh, so that is pretty helpful. The one thing you have to be concerned about with security wise though, is like I said, this software is no longer supported. So yes, Apple constantly patches security updates or security vulnerabilities, I should say, in their software. We get them all the time, whether it's on our iPhone, iOS, Mac OS, whatever. You get a security update at least once a month, which is really, really nice. However, if you have something like High Sierra, where they kept patching and patching updates, and then finally they just stop one day, that means that somebody out there could possibly find a new security issue in High Sierra and if they do well Apple's not going to do anything about it they're not going to push out a release to fix that so that is the main concern for me in 2024 uh, after a software is unsupported it kind of gets more risky uh, to use that but I feel like you know at this point most things are fixed right and I don't think somebody's going to be looking for a security issue that they can exploit in a four-year-old software. Well, it's actually older than that, but something that's been unsupported now for four years. They know that most people aren't using that. They're using the later, you know, stuff, uh, later version of macOS or whatever. So that's where they look for the issues to target people. So really, it's kind of a hard thing to say, you know. Uh, yes, it's an issue because it's no longer getting security updates, but at the same time, are people really trying to exploit things here in High Sierra? I don't really think so. So, security wise, I would say you're probably fine as long as you be careful, you know, be mindful of what you're doing when you're browsing online or opening an email or something like that, and you should be okay. Now, the other problem you're going to run into with High Sierra and using it uh, in today's time here. Uh, is application support. So most applications have already moved way on. They're not developing, you know, support for High Sierra or any older Mac OS. They're obviously trying to use the later versions of Mac OS. To give you an example of that, let's go to the Mac App Store, which still works and uh, here on this computer. But let's say we want, you know, to use a popular application like Microsoft Word. We go to Microsoft Word, uh, I don't think I'm signed in, but if we try to get it, it's going to tell you that this cannot be installed because macOS 12 or later is required. So that's something you're going to run into if you want to use something like the latest Microsoft Word or maybe another application like here's Adobe Lightroom, for example. Um, you're probably going to get the same thing. I believe every app is just about, yeah, macOS 12 or later, which I believe is... Monterey? I, I think that's macOS 12, Monterey. Uh, but yeah, you're going to run into that. So if you have applications already installed on your computer, then like if you had Lightroom, for example, then you're just not going to get updates anymore for Lightroom. You're going to get the last version that they supported. So you're no longer going to get any updates, which is kind of a bummer because there could be 
like for example bug fixes issues that were found and you're not going to get any of those uh, fixes in your application but if it's already installed then you can keep using it but if you need to install something from the Mac App Store the chances are you're not going to be able to do that now some of the apps for example like 1Password uh, you can see that it says compatibility is 10.13 or later so in this case you could actually download 1Password so there are some apps out there that might let you do it but the vast majority of things are probably not going to let you do it. Um, here's Evernote for example. It looks like you can uh, actually get Evernote as well. So like I said, you're just going to have to kind of look around and if there's something out there that you use pretty frequently, um, then you're probably not going to be able uh, to use it. Like for example, here's iMovie. iMovie is not going to work. That actually needs 13.5. But if you already had a version of iMovie installed, then you might be in luck. So that's something to kind of keep in mind is app uh, compatibility um, with this uh, High Sierra here. I will say one more interesting thing uh, with macOS High Sierra is it is still available to download. So you can go right here uh, to the Mac App Store. It's going to open the on here just like this. And there you go. You can actually still download uh, the installation file for uh, High Sierra. So Apple still has it out there for you. Uh, if you want to get it. But anyways, I've kind of rambled on here. Um, but another thing to kind of note would be uh, web browsing. You have a pretty latest version of Safari, so you're not going to have like any issues with that. Um, I haven't ran into a website that doesn't work. Like here's X, for example. Works just fine. Um, you know, all these different sites are going to be totally fine. You shouldn't have any problems uh, with any web browsing. But yeah, the main two things you want to just think about is the security and the app compatibility. Um, so should you still use High Sierra today? That's the main question uh, that you're wanting to know. It's really a yes or no. It just depends on what you're doing. If you're just browsing the web and checking emails, then <laughs> go right ahead, I guess. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Uh, just be very, very mindful of the sites you're visiting and the emails you're opening since you're no longer getting, you know, you might have a malicious site or email. But Safari is pretty good about that, and you can, you know, go into the different preferences and kind of beef up um, some security stuff, prevent cross-site tracking. Probably want to, well, you might can block the cookies, but, you know, warn when visiting a fraudulent site. It actually uses Google Safe Browsing. There are some measures in place. You just want to be very careful. And another thing is app compatibility. You might find apps that work for you. You might not mind using older versions of apps. Like, you might can just use an older Microsoft Office and be totally fine. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Let me know what you think about High Sierra. Are you still actually using it on any of your devices? Let me know in the comments down below. But until then, I'll catch you all in the next video.